welcome back, you guys, to Let's Play 999 in the last episode of uh, Cock Block and Dumb Cock Thing. Cock Block Ace. Cock Block and Handles. <laughs> Interesting. Anyway, All right. we're going to use the handle. We're going to grip that handle so hard and then pull it back and forth to uh, use the telegraph. Nothing's happening. No, I don't think so. Take a look. Over there, above the door to the chart room. Okay. <gasps> Go on. Oh. Hmm. Cork to El Paso and loam. I love that. Loam. 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 I think loam. You, do you mean Rome? Or nope. Do you, loam. Loam. Is that an actual place? What loam? Yeah. I could look. So think of actual places. It, I, I mean, I know really, El Paso is a real place. It just reminds me of this really kind of funny conversation. Yes, actually. Loam. It's the capital of Togo. Never heard of that. In West Africa. <gasps> oh, okay. It actually is funny because uh, watching a movie, my younger brother commented he thought it was so stupid that they put like a Rome, Italy down. And he was like, why do you friggin' need to tell us where Rome is? We all know where Rome is. It's stupid. He's like, it's not like there's any other town, any other place called Rome out there. And I'm like, actually, there's a city called Rome, jo in Rome, in there's a city in Georgia called Rome, Georgia. He's like, no, there isn't. I'm like, oh, there is. <laughs> Shows him. He's like, oh my god. That's and literally amazing. Came up big, he's like, it's so stupid. Still, he's like that. I'm like, actually, there's a city in Georgia. He's like, no, there isn't. I was like, like don't no. lie, don't lie to me. He's like, there is not. He's like, you were, you were just messing with me. I'm like, huh? Yeah. Shows him. He's like, oh my gosh. And then it, it happened again, and I was like. Actually, he's like, there's a freaking city in Georgia, I swear. Dude. There was. This reminds me of this one. There's one video. It's like, is it a is it a sex term or is it a, it a city in Pennsylvania? And people were like, didn't know intercourse Pennsylvania was a real thing. And they're like, really? Like, you didn't. I guess it's just common knowledge living here, but it's like, yeah. Intercourse, intercourse Pennsylvania. Intercourse Pennsylvania. We also have Silent Hill here. The real Silent, where Silent Hill was actually based off of, it's like a couple hours from here, like two or three hours from here. Road trip. I think it's completely closed off. I'm, I think that like police are, watch over and you can't get into it now. <laughs> it's a mining town where like the mines collapsed and like now it's just foggy all the time. I think that's Whoa, right. Whoa, spooky. <laughs> that's why I want to be Lisa Garland, dude. Okay, okay. So yeah, okay. I continue. Focus. Okay, there's something on the board that looks like an arrival board. There's only stuff displayed on the left side. What the hell is this? It's the name of the ports in the world. I imagine it's showing us the ship's route. You know, just like the ones you might see in an airport. Departing XX carrier XX flight XX at XX00. Like that. <laughs> oh, I get it. It does look like one of those. It looks like those are the names of all of the ports along the ship's route. But there's only one line that shows the arrival time. Yeah, on the. The time on the bottom, right? 47 seconds and 25 minutes past 7 o'clock. Perhaps it's the arrival time. Yes. Okay. A whole bunch of words. Time is set to that. Okay, 25, 47, past 7 o'clock. Why would they specify seconds? I don't actually know that. Anyway, back to the thing. Back to the thing. All right, let's get. All right. All right, let's give this another shot. Okay. All right, children. Here's what we're doing. We're talking about loam and stuff. We're gonna go to full. Full. Okay. Half. Half. Slow. Half. Wait, fuck! I screwed that up. Sorry, guys. <laughs> Okay, try this again. Um, right, from the second, another shot. Se second verse, same as the first. Okay, so full, full half, half, slow, slow full, <laughs> half, dead, slow, stop. Okay, and then back. That's weird. Nothing. What, what do you mean nothing happened? It appears there's been no change in the arrival board either. Ideally, they were, there ought to be some clue around here to suggest where we might need to put where we need to put. <gasps> Junpei! What is that you have there? Uh-huh. Oh, this? It's a nautical chart or something. I don't know. I found the chart room. What on earth are you doing? The speed is written right there. Did you put in the speed that shows on the chart? Uh. Okay, so we got, uh, we're gonna look at this again. 
Let's go to the chart because you freaking lied to me, thing. However, the nautical charts have the uh, speeds on them. Yeah, exactly. It's just... Okay. Nautical table. Full, full half, half slow, full, full half dead, dead stop. Speed. Remember that because I'm gonna. For I'm already forgetting. <laughs> Oop, I didn't want to go there. Okay. okay, wait. Let's just go back to it. I'm gonna do. Whoops, two wrong thing. Right. Okay. Oop, what am I doing? Go back, you pay. <laughs> okay. So not guys. Full half slow, nope. full half dead stop. Keep that there. Full half slow, okay. full half dead full. stop. I, I might actually be able to remember. No. Okay. Full. Okay. Full. Half slow, full half dead stop. You put dead slow. Wait. <laughs> Oops. I know! Oh my gosh, I'm sorry. Don't think so. Something happened earlier. Yeah, you're right. Let's check it out. Okay. Wait, well. I did that right. <laughs> Go back to the... Uh... Yeah, I, I know. I'm going. I'm going. Okay. Split. Display change. Now it's showing an estimated time of arrival 10 seconds past 3 o'clock. Time. Time. Okay. So, that means we gotta put it in the pocket watch, yes? Now? We're yeah. Not... Okay, so... Broken pocket watch. It only moves the hands. Doesn't mean the knob doesn't work. One sec, yeah. Use the pocket watch on the wall to display its fuzzy white marks. You should adjust the watch. Okay. There, that... So you should. Okay. There's some sort of thing invented on this door. I'm gonna put the pocket watch in. I know, but... Uh, holes, but... One sec, I guess we're supposed to figure something else out. Use the pocket watch on the wall to display that has the fuzzy white marks on it. That. That? Yeah. Try using the... Okay. Junpei, take a look. The display panel looks different. Yeah, you're right. Only the left half is on it, though. The last line. It says the estimated time of arrival is... Final destination is ten seconds past three o'clock. Hmm. Uh. I wonder why they have the seconds there. It seems a little too specific. There's gotta be a reason for that. Hmm. Oh. Perhaps... Whoa, what is he doing? Excuse me, Junpei. Hey, he took my pocket watch. What the fuck? Hey. <laughs> what the hell, man? What the hell are you doing? <laughs> what the hell? Santa, when'd you get here? <laughs> Trust me. No, I sound like this. Tama. Jays. <laughs> uh. <laughs> and it should be finished now. Well, thanks for giving me the pocket watch back, but you don't you look so smug about it. Of God. course. Of course he does. Let's see what he... Oh, he moved the hands. Ten seconds past three o'clock? Oh, you changed it to match the final arrival time. You snodded slowly. You know what to do next, right? Give it a shot. Okay. Kill you. Yeah, so you sometimes have to click on crap twice. Yeah, and that's dumb. <laughs> I know, unfortunately. It's like some sort of log. Got a weird shape thing on it. Actually, it's shaped like this pocket watch I've got. Let's what? put this sucker in here. It opens. Yes. Yes. It says open now. High five. E. <laughs> the lamest sci five ever. Good work. Seems you were successful. How do you feel, son? <laughs> <laughs> well done, son. <laughs> hey, Clover. <laughs> what? You guys were bond we we're bonding. <laughs> we, we bonded and we unlocked the door. Now we can get out of this room. Uh, oh. Well, let's go then. I'm I, sorry we bonded without you. I wanted to be part of the snug pile. Oh, Clover. Mm. What did pout? I just imagine her being pouty about not <laughs> being invited to the bonding session. Guess what? Oh boy. Rep. Rep. You found it. Yeah, buddy. Escape the room. Well, you helped me, of course. A hallway? It's far too narrow to be called one. This seems to be the only route. Yeah, let's go. Let's go. Wow. Well, these machines are weird. I've never seen any of them before, huh? It's a telegraph, right? Wait, this one is... Yeah, it's telegraphing. Yeah, a telegraph key. They were used to transmit Morse code a long time ago. This must be the communication office. In that door? Captain's quarters. Captain's quarters, huh? <laughs> We're going in someone's butt. No. 
<laughs> just kidding. Do you remember SpongeBob? It's like they called Captain's Quarters. They got your booty Captain's. Sorry, that was really bad. I apologize. I'm so tired. That's what it says. <laughs> That's what it says, but we're not doing this, Judy. We're not doing this, Ace. Yeah, it's like Ace is just making bad dad jokes or something. I guess Ace is dad of the group now. <laughs> he is now. Then, what do you think? Well, remember? <laughs> yeah. I am Zero, the captain of this ship. Okay, so we think that he might be there. We won't know if we don't open it. Okay. And we open the door to this. What? Oh. Ugh. <laughs> Not again. At least he wasn't exploded. The fuck, though? Who's Dead. that? No, wait. We didn't check his pulse yet. Maybe he's still alive. No, no, he did. He did. Nope. Yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. Oh, no, he did. He did. Well, he's dead. And he's wearing a watch. Damn, if only we knew what ha how it happened. These wounds, I, I wonder what killed him. Whoa. Must have been this. These clothes. The captain. Does that mean this guy was zero? A bracelet. Zero. <laughs> Junpei? It may be wise to find a way out of here first. Yeah, you're right. We gotta go in the room with the dead body, guys. Ew. I like that. I guess we're sitting in a room with a dead guy. <laughs> Where is that from? I forget. Muppet Treasure Island. Oh, that's right. <laughs> like, oh my gosh. We're sitting I forgot all about that. Actually, have you ever just no? Sometimes I just sit there. I'm just like, and I just sit there, and I'm just, and I you know, just think of a, uh, and I just randomly start singing the Treasure Island songs. My I love Mappa Treasure Island, dude. Good movie, guys. I'm just sitting. I'll be at work now. I'll just be like Tim. Tim Curry at his finest, dude. He play. He plays Captain Silver perfectly. Yeah, I'll just be at work, and, and I'll just be like. No, just start singing professional part in my head. Oh my like, gosh. Dude, that's been so long. Yeah. There's blood on the chair. Do you think this was the dead guys? Yeah, probably. Yep. There's a camera. Why? A camcorder. It looks like it's pointed at the door. Well, the power's on. Why would someone want to videotape a door? This is the exit, huh? Don't really have to try the door to know that's locked. <sighs> Ugh, knew it. Okay. Okay. So well, obviously we aren't doing that anytime soon, guys. So. No. I remember the freaking thing out of this thing is weird. It's oh, and I got a random music box. It's really weird. It's, how to open that door is really weird. I don't know why. He looks so sad, Clover. It's a lamp. <laughs> the, the, the face like, oh, but it doesn't turn on. I'm gonna go cry about it. <laughs> He looks so depressed. I don't think there's anything even special about it. Wow. <laughs> I oh my god. I apologize for how dumb I'm being right That's now. That's alright. A bead. It's a bed. There's nothing in it. Oh. I don't know. Okay. So I got cameras. All right. Hey, the screen's showing what's happening in the central staircase on B deck. The screen showing it's in a room I don't recognize. This is a screen looks really fancy. I'm so fancy. I don't recognize the room on this one. This one shows the staircase on C deck. Hospital this room. This is the hospital room. This is some random ass hallway. Okay. There's a bunch of weird buttons on here. They probably switch what you see on the screens. You know how to work this thing? Oh, uh, why don't we just press one of these? Like this one. Pickety. Whoa. Well, I guess it did change the- What the hell is this? There's nothing on the monitor, just static. That don't look like static! Hey, isn't this the screen on the door right behind us? You're right. So, whatever the camera sees is sent to the screen on in real time. I wonder if that means something, you know? Hmm. <laughs> It's one of those things. Let's see what happens when I flip on the switches. Nothing. Looks like it doesn't work anymore. <laughs> Convenience. Alright. Oh. What's the deal with this? Is some kind of code? 
There are four rows of numbers and letters. They all start with zero and end with eight, F, N, or V, respectively. Maybe this has something to do with number bases? Okay. A drawer, there's nothing inside. Typical. <laughs> zero, huh? It's like he's making fun of us. What do you think? Nothing. <laughs> what about him? Do you think that's really zero? I thought he was gonna say, what do you think? What, do, what does he think? I wonder. <laughs> no, I, <laughs> There's no way that's him. <laughs> I'm so... S <laughs> Didn't I tell you already? Zero is one of us. Yeah, right. That didn't come out right. <laughs> like, yeah, right. <laughs> the, well, sar the sarcasm in that. There's no way that man could be zero. Huh? Don't you don't you get it? The letters that spell zero on the TV screen, the captain's clothes he's got on, and of course the bracelet with the zero on it. It's too obvious. Look, look, this is zero right here. This dead body is zero. Isn't that kind of fishy? You're right. Only an idiot would see through something like that. Wouldn't see through something like that. Sorry. No, that's not the point. I'm not trying to make fun of them for thinking a trick like this would work. I'm sure they didn't think it would work, which makes me wonder, why do it? Why do they do it? I think it's like a challenge. A challenge from the person who's really behind this. He's making fun of us. Huh? Don't you get it? If whoever killed this guy really wanted to think this course was zero, they never put the bracelet on him. Walking about with a zero bracelet would be like hanging a sign around your neck that said, I did it! You know what the brain would be able to see that this guy's supposed to look like everything zero is supposed to be. Just like we did. <laughs> the killer must have known we wouldn't, we wouldn't think he was zero and put the bracelet on him anyway. Do you know why? Why? Like I said, he's mocking us. Too bad, suckers! This ain't zero. We're the real man then, so you can catch me. Same bad joke a lot of criminals like to play. They'll just sit back, watch people run in circles. That's really twisted, but it almost seems kind of childish. Yeah, you're right. It's really childish. It's like a, just a game, whoever is a person. That's what seems funny to me. Alright, like let's get back to the point. The guy has like the face of wet. <laughs> <laughs> Who killed this man? I don't know. And what's this guy's deal? Who is he? How would I know that? If I knew anything, I would have told you. You have no idea who he is? Why would I? Hmm. We should check and see if he's got anything on him that might tell us who he is. Give me a hand here, Clover. Huh? You gotta flip him over. How else are we gonna search his pockets? Uh. Okay, fine. I'll do it. Here we go. <laughs> Huh? Hey, it's the- Lastly, let's discuss how to remove the bracelets. There are only two ways to do so. One, you escape from the ship. Two, your heart rate reaches zero. In other words, once the bracelet is taken outside the confines of the ship or detects the wearer's heartbeat has fallen to zero, it will shut down automatically. Oh. Oh, God. This- Man, oh yeah, he's definitely dead now. <laughs> huh? It, uh, I guess I really didn't think about it right until now. His bracelet's off. That means he's dead. Well, it's pretty obvious that he's dead. You don't really need to look at his bracelet to figure out that he's dead. I guess you're right. It's pretty obvious. He looks a lot better than the other bodies we've seen, though, you know. I mean, if there wasn't all this blood, he almost looked like he's still alive. Uh. I mean, I know it's kind of messed up thing to say, but he kind of has it better, you know? Shut up, Junpei! <laughs> Dying from a bomb going off inside you? I mean, that's just... Some of Snake's bones went right through his skin. I think the explosion was a shot on the wall or something. There was a broken bone just sticking out of his left arm. <laughs> and... What did you just say? Oh, oh, I'm so sorry. I shouldn't have said that. I don't know what I was thinking. I mean... No, I'm not- that's not what I'm talking about! What did you say about his arm? Arm? Yes, his left arm! You said it, didn't you? Well, yeah, I did, but... I mean, you, didn't you see it too? Of course not! I could barely look at him! There was no way I was gonna see the details! Are you sure it was his left arm? Yeah, I'm pretty sure it was. And he had a broken bone, right? What the hell are you getting at here? Just shut up and answer me! 
Yeah, he did. It was pretty bad too. The bone was sticking out of the arm. Huh. Uh, uh Clover. Mm hmm. What up? Uh, Look, I'm really sorry if I said anything. Thank you. Huh? What are you? Thank you so much, Junpei. What the fuck did I? What? What just happened? <laughs> Biffy hugs. What's got? What's going on with you? I'm sorry. It's just, I'm so happy. Why? The body in the shower room. It, it wasn't his. It isn't my brother. Huh? It's not Snake. Why on earth would you think that? Because his left arm is. I'm sorry. I really shouldn't be talking about this. Huh? But he's still alive. I'm. I'm so happy. I'm so glad. Uh. Junpei, you were right. Huh? No matter what happens, you can never lose hope. You have to remember what's most important, and to have faith and to have love. If you can remember all those, I'll bring you good luck. That... That's... I, I only made it here because you gave me this. I was suspicious of everybody, and I was angry and miserable. Yep. But because I had this poorly clover, because of what you said to me, I... Yeah... Thank you so much, Junpei. If you really want things of it, you should probably be thanking Santa. Santa? Why? Well, he was the one who gave me that thing. And the words for each leaf, I got that from him too. Uh. Mm. Uh. Mm. Huh? <laughs> What's going on? What's What's happening? <laughs> Did, did Santa really tell you those things? Uh, yeah, he did. Did, did I say something wrong? Oh no, not at all. In fact, this could be really good news, I think. You think? Santa knew about the words in the clover. The only people who should know about that are the other subjects. Subjects? The other people who were in the experiment nine years ago with my brother and me. Huh? But he's blind. And I was part of the Nevada test group. So neither of us would be able to recognize the faces of the people who were on the boat. Whoa, 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 whoa. Time out. Let's just be... Let's just calm down for a second, okay? Start from the top. <laughs> Don't start with the end, then jump into the middle. You gotta start with one, then move to two, three, four, and so on. If you don't tell me the stuff right, in the right order, I'm never going to figure it out. Okay. All right. Let's start with this experiment. What happened on this boat nine years ago? Do you know about morphogenic morphogenetic fields? Morphogenetic fields? Alright, how about this? Theory of telepathic mechanism. I think Lotus mentioned something like that. Hmm. Telepathy, huh? Well, that's not really it, but I suppose it's similar. So, so they- So <laughs> they were testing telepathy on the ship? Yeah, I guess so. So, what exactly did they have you guys do? The same thing we're doing now. Exactly the same thing. What? The nonary game. Nine people were put on the boat, and nine other people were put in a building in Nevada, and the game started. Look, I'm sorry. I I don't get it. Yeah, what the fuck? <laughs> I get it. You, of course you get it. Shut up. <laughs> what did the nonary game and some... Telepathy experiment have to do with each other. Am I missing something here? I am too. The ability to access morphogenic field is affected by a couple of things. The first is epiphany. The other is danger. You know how some how sometimes when you're up against a really tough problem and then the answer just kind of pops in your head. That's an epiphany. What you learn from the epiphany can be transmitted with telepathy. When you add danger to the equation, then it gets easier to transmit that information over telepathy. So you're saying the nonary game was supposed to introduce that element of danger? Yeah, but it couldn't just be any old danger. It had to be life or life and death. And, and, someone did actually die. A girl. She was on the boat with my brother. I was in Nevada. I never met her, but... I did hear her name. Her name was... 
Um. Damn it! Oh, God damn it! <laughs> Well, we're just gonna cut the episode off here for now. Fuck you, Ace. Uh, because you're having a fantastic day. Please like, subscribe for more DVD seconds every day. Talk to you later. Bye bye. <laughs>